In this video we are going to see how we can use item to restore health of our character and how we can remove items upon using them so that we can uh, have this fully working mechanic of our edible item before we start implementing the sword item so the equipable item and see how it goes and how to add specific stats for the item. Okay let's get going. Before we start cr creating the weapon uh, object so that we can re-implement our item representing our uh, sword we are going to first select our item 1 and delete it and item without an index let's assign inventory item and we are going to select the apple okay so we have our item that we can pick up but i would like to test our logic to restore the health of our character to do this we need to have a way to use our item and the easiest way for now would be to simply set the functionality of an item to the right mouse button click so for now let's go back to our inventory controller so let's select our script inventory controller and as far as i remember inside the prepare uh, what we have prepare ui we have this on item action requested and right click on this and go to the definition and this should be called when we are handling show item action. So let's call on item uh, action request at question mark dot invoke. And we need to pass here the int. So this is the index of this item. So again, we need to copy the uh, code to find our index. And if the index is minus one, we need to return this. Else we are going to pass index here. Okay. So we are going to get the reference to the item that was clicked on using our right mouse button uh, from our mouse pointer. So now uh, let's go back to our inventory controller. We are going to call handle item action requested. And basically here we are going to generate another UI element that will show our buttons so that we can drop an item and we can eat it or consume it or equip it. But for now, what we are going to do is we are going to simply implement the functionality to test our logic for the health item. So here I'm going to paste first our code that inventory item, inventory item equals inventory data get item at index. And this is the same way that we did uh, below. So if we get an item and this item is empty, we want to, of course, return. Now, if it is not, we are going to try to access our I item action. If you recall, we have implemented this to have the action name action SFX and the perform action method game object character. And this is uh, this was meant to be used to create our action button. But for now, what we can do is if this is not null, so if our item action is not null, this should give us a hint that we have selected an edible item beside that we do not have any other type of items in our game so far so what we want to do is call item action dot perform action and we want to pass basically this game object so rather we need to pass game object okay so this should give us a way to test our health restoration functionality so let's save our script or file and save all let's go back to unity okay let's select our player let's select our inventory controller and we are going to set the initial item we are going to assign maybe two items and for now let's select the apple now of course we are not going to be removing this item from our inventory so we are not going to test this yet but let's try pressing play okay now if we open the inventory we still should have our items and let's try getting hit by this projectile okay great let's try pressing right click on our item as you can see our health was restored so we can get hit by a couple of those or we can set it through the inspector and now if we open our item we can right click on this and as you can see our health is being restored now basically we want to also remove our item or one of those items from the inventory when we use this item so in our model, our edible item SO has the, this iDestroyable item interface. So what we can do is we can go back to our inventory controller and what we can find is I uh, destroyable item, item or destroyable item equals and we are going to get our inventory 
item dot item as i destroyable item and again if this destroyable item is not null now we know that we can destroy this item or we can use this to know that we should destroy one item of this type after use so in our case what we should do is ask our inventory data dot remove item and we are going to pass here our item index so let's pass item index and what we want to do as well is pass the quantity so we want to pass one for now and let's right click on this remove item quick actions and generate this method right click on this and go to the definition okay let's set this to be a public method and let's call this int to be amount okay so remove item what it needs to do is needs to check if inventory items dot count is greater than item index this means that we have this index inside our inventory items list next we of course need to check if this item is empty we are already doing this in the code that calls this method but we may want to call this from another place so that's why we have this duplicate code if this item is uh, empty then we want to simply return next if it isn't we want to check int remainder so we want to set the remainder of this item to be the inventory item with this index quantity minus the amount that we want to remove if the remainder is less or equal to zero we will need to create an empty item in this place else we want to set the inventory items with this index to be uh, inventory items with this index change quantity which simply returns a new inventory item we have discussed how it works previously so we want to set it to a new struct that will be of the representation of the item with the reduced quantity and we of course need to inform about the change our ui okay again file and save all and let's go back to unity great let's press play we have more items of type apple in our game let's stand here to get hit i think three times so that we can reduce the health okay let's open our inventory let's press right mouse button and as you can see we have removed one item let's remove one item uh, more let's collect this another item and we can see that this now substituted the previously existing item now we have five apples let's right click and as you can see now we can eat those apples nothing happens because we cannot restore any more health but basically our functionality works correctly great now again i think that we are going to stop here and we know that this works so in the next video we are going to start working on our weapon data object so that we can have both of those and we are going to start working on the ui element that will show us the possible actions instead of hard coding it on right mouse button click but of course this can be something that you want to perform instead of being able to uh, throw away item you may want to simply drag it outside of the inventory system and you may want to simply check against uh, dropping outside of the bounds and this will remove the item we are going to create the additional menu soon okay if you are enjoying this video leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel it really helps me a lot see you in the next video